Hi everybody, it's Aaron Blaze, and recently I created uh, a set of directional fur brushes. This was back in December. That um, when you paint them onto your illustration, character, whatever it might be, they paint on in the direction that you draw the stylus. And I created a whole bunch of different textures, different um, hair, you know, traits, and and that sort of thing. Well, they um, they proved to be pretty popular. So the last month or so, I've decided to go ahead and create a set number two. And so today, I thought I would take you through my second set of 21 brushes, my Photoshop custom fur directional brush set number two. And uh, why don't we just go ahead and dive right in? So I'm going to jump over here, and I'm going to show you the menu. And if you look over at the brush menu, I've got a set of 21 brushes right there. The first thing I'm going to do today is I'm just going to take you through and show you each individual brush and how they brush on. One of the things, I'm going to just go ahead and start and, and talk as I'm doing this. One of the things I really wanted to experiment this time was, um, look at that, that's kind of cool. Uh, the idea of using brushes from a layering standpoint, that you can layer the brushes on top of each other and you can get different um, different effects, different textures of hair, that sort of thing. And as I've experimented with it, I've discovered that um, I re it's, real, it's almost infinite, the, the different textures you can create using the different blend modes on your brushes and that sort of thing. And I'm going to show you that in just a little bit when we get through this. This fur texture right here, this is like I was looking at bear fur and kind of the, the, the fur in the neck where it's kind of downy and fluffy. And, and uh, so that's what that is there. And the second one over here, that was also looking at bear fur, uh, their coarse fur that they have on the sides of their bodies. But you can see... You know, just like in my first set, I've got a wide variety of different textures here. And, um, and the whole idea is, once again, I'll repeat myself, the whole idea is to be able to layer these and build up different textures on top of each other to create new textures when you're done. And, uh, and so far, what I've been able to create has been really, really cool. It's been great. That's kind of neat. That's a little wavy hair. Um, here we go. You can see we've got just a wide variety of different, there's some nice messy curly hair there. A nice wide variety of, of hair, of different hair brushes. Now here's one where they paint on as individual hairs, just like in my earlier set. And these are great to add into some of these other textures as, um, as like under like the down you might see on like buffalo fur or you know that that type of thing and I'm just gonna almost done here you can see all the different this this makes really nice long hair I'm, I'm really happy with the, how that one came out when I blow that up you'll see it, it works really well and these are nice soft fur textures they almost look feather like in the way that they paint on but I'm really happy with those as well these I, I've gotten some really great use out of when mixed with some of these other brushes. So you can see, you know, we've got a nice variety of different textures of fur. Let's go ahead and, uh, oh, actually, I'm going to, first thing I want to do is I want to show you some of these, some of these, using these brushes that I just showed you, look at some of the, the textures I've been able to create in color. These are all textures that I just created using just those brushes that I showed you. But what I've been doing is I've been experimenting with the different blend modes and layering them on top of each other and really coming up with some really fun textures. Okay, so I'm going to turn these back back on. Back, back on. I'm going to turn these back on. There we go. I'm going to talk normally. And uh, let's go ahead and let's just, I'm going to show you how I do it. So let's just start with a base color. I'm going to grab a nice brown and grab my fill tool, my bucket. And let's fill that in. Now I'm going to create a layer on top of that. And I'm going to go really dark. And let's grab, well, let's just grab the brush we've got. And I'm going to paint this on. You can see we're getting some nice texture on here. There we go. I'm just going to cover the whole thing. I'm just going to cover it all up. And actually, the other thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to combine these layers. 
there. So I'm doing this all on one layer. All right. So now it's all pretty dark. See that? It's a nice texture to start with, but it's all dark. So why don't we try another texture? Let's try that one. We'll go a little bigger with it. Let's go a little bit bigger. There we go. And let's uh, lighten it up. And let's just see what we get. See? Now we're layering on a different texture, but see the nice kind of contrast that we're getting. It adds, it adds something to it. Now let's experiment a little bit more. I'm going to go a little darker. I'm going to change my blend mode to multiply. And let's grab one of our brushes up here. Just for the heck of it. I'm going to start painting it on. Look at the different texture we've got on top of that. It's kind of neat. Now, if you don't like that, you can go, well, you know, I'm not crazy about that. So let's go back to normal again. Let's grab a different brush. Let's go back to here. We can just paint on more textures. And it really is just experimenting. You just got to experiment and, you know, see what works, what doesn't. Now I want to go back to my dark again. There we go. And let's set this for multiply again. And now we're getting some nice dark in there. Still have the textures. See? But now let's try something different. So now let's go and set this, our blend mode, let's set it to color dodge. And let's grab, I don't know, let's grab, uh, let's grab this brush. Oh, uh, actually, let's try a different one. Let's try, um, let's try these. We'll just try those brushes. Nice and large. I'm going to lighten that way up. And I'm lightly, just lightly going over the top of this set on color dodge and look at that texture I'm gonna bring this down just a touch see how that color dodge really kind of you, you've got a nice dark base but then the color dodge really brings out some really nice textures and then you can say well I want you know more light to be hitting like this area well you just lightly very lightly hit it and if you find that the color dodge is too strong just knock that opacity way down and you can, you can play with it a little bit more. But look at that texture we created just in a matter of minutes by layering our brushes. Let's try another one. So once again, I'm just going to fill a new layer. And let's go dark again. Grab a brush. Let's try one of the... Let's try that, that bare fur. Remember I was talking about earlier? I'm going to go big with it. Oh, I'm, I, I'm still on color dodge. Let's set it to normal. Uh, it's too big. Let's go a little smaller with it. There we go. You go, well, that's kind of weird. It just looks like tree bark. But, once again, if we layer it, let's lighten up the... Uh, let's come over here with some lighter fur. Let's try this fur texture here. And look, you get some nice, you get some nice texture on top of there. Trying something different. And let's come in here. And let's set it to multiply. There we go. Let's go with a nice, deep, rich color. There we go. I'm going to knock that opacity up. Look at that. It's going on nicely. Look at the texture we're building up. Very, very cool. Now let's knock the size down just a little bit. And once again, let's try our color dodge. Let's see what we get. This time I, I kept the brush the same. And I'm just brushing over some of the same strokes that I put down earlier. And look at that. That feels really cool. Now let's say we want to try something that's, um, we want to try some hair that's a little bit longer. 
Let's try a different one. Let's go ahead and fill this once again. Let's come back to our brushes. Let's come to this one right here that we started earlier. There we go. Make that a little bigger. And let's go dark with it. Oh, still on color dodge. Don't want that. I do that every time. There we go. That's a little big though, so it's taking a little bit too much time for my tastes. There we go. We can just paint this right in nice and slow. Because this one, there's a lot of hair in there, so it's got to think. It's a little bit slower. If you have a faster computer, it'll go a little faster for you. The other thing, too, is you can resize the image. It doesn't. I've got a, a fairly large image here that I'm working on. So uh, it tends to go a little bit slower, but you can see we're getting a nice, nice fur texture, and it's all going right in the direction that I painted on once again. So it's very cool. So let's go to our, let's go to a nice richer color. Let's set this to multiply. You can see now I'm getting some really rich, I'm going to go a little smaller with the brush. Some really rich, deep darks. You see that? Very dark hair. Maybe it's the mane of a horse or the horse's tail. Now, let's come in here. Let's say with, uh, let's try this this brush here. Increase the size. There we go. This might be a little bit big, but let's try it anyway. And we're going to set it to color dodge. Now look at this cool straight feeling here. Now we're going through and we're hitting highlights. You know, that color dodge is, is that's, that's the real killer of it all. I mean, it really just, I mean, killer in a great way. <laughs> it really brings out the textures. Look at that hair we just created. Now let's go a little brighter with it. Maybe we want to try a different texture. Let's just see what happens when we use this texture. And it just lightens it up. You know, the the, the straight hair is really dominant, so it's, it, it doesn't break up that texture very much. But look at that nice, long hair texture we just created using those brushes. So there's three different examples. Get in there and try, you know, experiment between your, your normal blend mode, your multiply blend mode, and your uh, uh, color dodge blend mode. And try different colors, try layering the brushes. There's really a, a whole bunch of different textures that you can come up with. So anyway, I hope you enjoy them. Go to my website, creatureartteacher.com. That's where they're, they're available and you can download them. I hope you have fun and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit the red subscribe button down below. Spread the word. And also, if there's something that you're not seeing that you'd like to see, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot.